I'm busy. I've got to go home and do more. <sighs> one take, one market. Thank you, Chris. Lizzie has had it up to here with me, mm-hmm. and I have been accommodating to you for you today. You know, that may be true, but also, do you want to tell the people what just happened in the kitchen? No, I don't even know why. Oh, I know why we're fighting. But before we get into a fight, can I start the podcast on a positive note? Go ahead. Okay, well, you know me. Mm-hmm. I do. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm the president of a very important fan club. Oh, really? And guess what Chris did for me? What's the fan club? Chris, get that headset on. What's oh. the fan club? Oh! God damn it, Chris. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I ask him to do something and then we yell at him. Mute him! That's very much us. Wait, should we just start the show before we do anything else? <laughs> Hello, everybody, and welcome back to The Sip. My name is Lizzie Gordon. With me, as always, is... Ryland Adams. Hello, hello! Did I do it? Kind of. Oh, my gosh. I like your lipstick today. It really has a tint of sparkle. I think it's Jeffrey What the Fuck mixed with something else. And I want to compliment you. Thank you. Your hair... No, I mean, I want to, like, go back a week and say, I don't think I gave you the correct reaction upon seeing your hair for the first time because I was such a skeptic going into what you were doing. Yes. But then watching the podcast back, seeing you a little bit more, I really fell in love with it. And then you walked in today, too, and I said, look at that hot little mommy walking through my door. It's a vibe. It's a vibe. Some would say, I caught a vibe. So anyways, (laughs) me as the president of a very important fan club, Chris knows me very well. Oh. I've been hiding from you. What are you hiding? Oh, my gosh. (laughs) Oh my god. I have Anne Hathaway on my chest. No big deal. You got him an Anne Hathaway shirt? Yeah. I think he customized me an Anne Hathaway shirt. You made shirt. this? I mean, I, I bought it. Wait, use your use your voice. <laughs> I, what it, can you are you okay? Uh, What's going on? <laughs> I bought it. You bought it? Yeah. Is it going to take away focus from my face? Like, is it with three faces <laughs> in the frame? This is the weirdest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> it is kind of haunting, you know? It is so weird. She's like pondering what her fan club's doing on the Facebook group. There's a fan. Are you in the fa- Are you in the Facebook group? No, I don't know how to run Facebook. I just hear you other podcasts. You like Dan Hathaway on Facebook? <laughs> I just thought I had to. I get it. The other one, he gave me another one. It's pretty cool. I'll debut it later. You got him two shirts? Yeah, Chris likes me a lot. What can I say? I'm nice to the man. Maybe if I'd gotten you an Anne Hathaway shirt, I'd be getting that couch. (laughs) You guys want to talk about the fucking elephant in the room? Well, yeah. Shane had to spoil it. Shane had to start a fight before anything had happened. Do you have anything you want to say? No. Do you want to tell the people what you did? Well, yeah. Chris is getting the couch, guys. (laughs) The couch is Lizzie. Chris is getting the fucking couch. And pleaded for forever and ever and ever. And did Chris even ask for the couch or did you guys just call his ass up and say, hey, Chris, do you want a couch? You know, timing's everything. Okay. And we didn't know what we were doing with the couch. We weren't ready to part with the couch when you were looking for a couch. And it just so, so happens personal. that this, the moment that we are ready to let go of the couch, Chris is in need of a couch because mm-hmm. you have your apartment back today, right? Yeah. Did you come to us from your apartment? I did. <gasps> Hell yeah. Not a two hour drive? To no. The sip. That was nice. Congratulations, Chris. Thank you. It was Where did weird. all your shit go? Um, it's gone. Wait, did you guys discuss that? Like when when you guys had discussed the apartment, had you discussed because I had just opened Instagram and saw your story that your apartment saw that you'd been robbed. <laughs> oh, is, is that no? But did you guys? Because you got the apartment. Yes. And did you walk home to an empty apartment to your surprise? No. No. Okay. Sounds a little bit like a yes. <laughs> no. <laughs> In Chris, that translates to, yeah. <laughs> But he's a good guy. <laughs> but I want him to have it. But he's you like, know I have what? Nothing to sleep on. But I want him to have you know, it. I really love the floor, and I can eat my top of ramen in the bath. Like I don't need. That was I brought home dinner, and there was nothing to sit on or like put stuff on. I was like, oh no. Because you were what surprised a, by the fact that all I your furniture do? was gone. Well, a little bit. You you, you can no, say a little bit. No. Yeah. When did you take back possession of the apartment? Uh, technically, Today. I had it back on the. Fourth or fifth, I forget, but I didn't actually go back until I think last night. Mm. Well, welcome home. Welcome home. <sighs> Thank you. It's Sweet weird. couch, bro. It was really, it was really <laughs> weird. It's sad to see it all well, empty. We got to get you the couch fast because if yeah, you let's don't, get it to him real if fast. If you don't have a bed there right now, then that's probably 
what you'll sleep on until you get but the fun thing is that it i do think the positive in all of this is refreshing a space because that furniture would remind you of your relationship of the two of you of memories you had on that furniture and it's like i think having a clean start which is why we redid our family room here yeah. is because that's where like a lot of the trauma for shane was because at nighttime when i would be asleep he'd be on that couch reliving and living through everything that had happened and i think us revamping that space really brought a whole new energy to the house for us so hopefully this is a, another blessing in disguise <gasps> ah! what is that it flew into okay. my face chris oh my god chris suggested leave the door open it's so nice outside it it's be nighttime fun, there's a is, what is that is that a june <laughs> it's a bird guys That's, somebody's got to kill it somebody's got to get it out of here i don't chris, know if we need to kill it <laughs> chris kill it <laughs> It hit my face. I saw. I, how about that? You're so traumatized. You didn't even respond to that. You just very calmly were like, "It hit my face." This is just my life in a nutshell. Get rid of it, Chris. Mute him He's and yeah. kill it. No. <laughs> well, are we done talking to him? No, we're not done talking to him. But we have to deal with the fucking elephant bug in the room. No, let's just let it happen. We're in the mountains. Let, let let's let nature shut come that door, to Chris. Us. Oh, you want to lock him in here? Yeah, dude. I want to. His friends might be coming. Shit. Are you kidding? Uh, the pest control person did say mosquitoes are getting people's ankles, which I didn't know what that meant. Like, uh, shut the door, Chris. Okay. Ma maybe we should shut S the door. Su super quick. Thank you guys for even offering the couch. You're the nicest people ever. Oh, I appreciate you so much. Oh my god, now there's the world's wait, biggest wait, 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 spider. Oh, it's a what black widow. It's a black widow. No, oh my god. kill it. Wait, kill wait, 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 wait. Kill take it. a video of it. No, don't take a video of it. Just kill it. Oh, what do I do? Somebody kill it. Wait, 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 wait. Oh my god. What is going on? We can't do this today. <laughs> um, the Black Widow's gone, for those wondering. Wait, but it's not gone. Listening. It's still here. Hold on. Video? I, I mean, <laughs> we can't find it. The biggest Black Widow I've ever seen, we can't find. Yeah, we're gonna need to find it. Okay, Shane's you calling. Wait, let me film it. It could literally cost one of us our lives, right? Hello? And two of us don't have health insurance. Hold on. <laughs> Hello? What's going on? Oh my god. <laughs> the biggest bug came and hit Chris's head and then it landed on the wall and all of a sudden <laughs> a black widow jumps out to try to eat the bug. Okay. I love you. Okay, wait, we need to figure out where the black widow is. So I gotta close this, right? I mean Yeah. Should we cut for a second? I don't know. <laughs> well, we need to I find the spider. That's like being on the Titanic and be like, no. <laughs> the content. It's a big movie. Where, it's on the Where the fuck is it? I, don't, I saw it, and then what'd you do? <laughs> don't be, be careful. Don't be just shaking that shit, you know? It was huge, too. Well, what if it disappeared? <sighs> Hold on, I think we should cut and yeah. then we can insert vlog footage if we Oh my god. Away <laughs> from the killing! Just film what it looks like. Okay, and then put the put the curtain against the fucking I need a gun. Oh, it's huge. <laughs> okay, okay, stop, stop, we... stop. Wait, 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 no. Just wait, get get wait hold on, hold on, hold on. We can't put it flush with the wall and let me fucking crush it. Oh, it's thick. Put it flush with the wall, bro. Put it flush with the wall. Okay, hold no, on. No, 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 you gotta just put it on the wall and I'm just gonna start beating the fuck out of it. <laughs> Okay. You. Dude, it's so alive. You gotta let me crush it. I get my vagina back in my panties. <laughs> oh my god. How did that happen? I need a cup of noodle One, two, bite. Two, Jeez. Right, right. Second stick. Oh my god, and now I have a tension headache from the tension. Mm -hmm. <gasps> That was too much for one day. That, it's Monday <laughs> night, you guys. That's too much. It's too much. Honestly, I feel a little alive now. <laughs> oh my god. I don't think I've ever seen a, I'm a, a that big of a black widow. I have to say <laughs> I don't think we're safe. I don't want to do anything with you ever again. <laughs> <laughs> this bitch, no, no, holding me back from <laughs> killing the thing that's coming to kill us, saying, I need to vlog it. <laughs> well, Literally, did you see him putting hands on me, holding me back? There was a really from good saving shot lives, of Chris. the red. And I was thinking we could get him in a cup and then go take him out to the mountainside. 
We don't rescue killers. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's not like it's a great white shark. It's, and I'm sure the audience is going to have something to say about that. But today, I was a hero. <laughs> Wow, I can't. I can't even focus anymore. Shane called because we screamed. Was he, like, was he mad? He's in the house. What did he say? He thought we were. <laughs> I don't know. We'll have to, I blacked it out. Honestly, because his voice scared me. I hung I was up. Like he's dad mad. Well, because I was ignoring his calls because I was trying to vlog. Oh, no, you're and then because he was trying to vlog. <laughs> and this is what I'm talking about. After the third time he called, I answered it, and he's like, "Are you guys being murderers?" I don't know what he said, and I was like, "Okay." <laughs> There's a spider. And he's like, oh, my God. <laughs> listen, listen, there's a large spider. It's called a black widow. Wow. Oh, I'm sweating. That was a yeah, lot. that was intense. And if there's one, there's probably more than yeah, one. Yeah, we shouldn't be here. I don't know. So that's the end of our podcast. <laughs> and that's the sip. <sighs> <laughs> do you even know what we were talking about when all of this happened no we were somewhere we were talking about chris, chris getting my couch oh yeah we should take it over there soon for you yeah Please. what's your plan so now are you like what are you gonna do um what do you mean for like, like are you gonna start designing it are you too busy to design it right now should i get over there and do a room makeover please i would love nothing more than that i've never designed for anyone else so i, I would mean, love that i've asked him to design <laughs> rooms for me no you haven't i have I, well you have like another person in your life like what if i disappointed joe or joe You're right didn't love give it, it to and sad then... solo chris <laughs> Make over his life because he's alone. And Joe, you you have redone your house very well, Thank so you. you don't need you don't need me. I wanted you though. I will say that. Uh, okay, well, you've the Midas touch. I, Thank I, you. I do also have no sense of fashion or design or taste, really. We can see. You. Well, we know that I can't. <laughs> fa- I can't get myself in any sort of fashion. Honestly, this is a vibe. Well, thanks, Chris. I mean, it wasn't any of my own doing. No, but it's great. So that's the Chris update. Okay, Chris. Mute. Wait, Lizzie. <laughs> she got <doesn't> mute. <laughs> Lizzie. Mute. It's so in a Christmas this bag. This was meant to be given to you forever ago, but Just it's toss it's it. a, like an ornament thing. Toss it. Yeah. <laughs> so it's because the costume that you wore on the Halloween oh, episode. I love that. It I'll put ornament. that on my Christmas stuff for next year. <laughs> I now, love that, it. now that you're a Christmas woman. Now that I'm a Christmas woman, I do love the hot dog. The hot dog is very cute. I got a really sweet message. I don't really read my DMs. And I like went to my restricted section for some reason, and this girl sent me a beautiful message about how my Halloween costume made her feel not alone in the world. And she sent me a picture of herself dressed as a demon in a Halloween costume when she was a little girl. <laughs> and I just like, I feel like God love her, you know? No. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> I lost my voice just now. <laughs> it was the terror of the June bug and the fucking I'm sure. black widow like honestly I don't know if I don't know if I can keep doing this I'm sure the entire neighborhood knows that something <laughs> happened like they probably think like there's a, a should you call Maryland it dispute. okay <laughs> Watch the cops literally show up right now. Can you imagine what this podcast could turn into? The potential? Well, yeah, I mean, I thought my friend Kate was going to go on labor. Because I was my friend Kate, she doesn't, she wants me to use the words is allegedly having contractions. Wh- why? Because she doesn't want to actually be having contractions. But I really feel like Kate is has been in labor for quite some time now. Does she not want to get that baby out of her? It's kind of early. So she's due on the 27th okay. of March, but she's three centimeter dilated. Last Tuesday, she was three centimeters dilated. And she keeps being like, my back hurts really bad. And it feels like I'm having period cramps. And then the pain travels from my back to my tummy. And I only feel well when I'm sitting on a toilet because it <laughs> relieves the pressure. I'm like, you're about to have a toilet, baby, bitch. And she's like, don't wish that for me. And I'm like, no, like I watch a lot of I didn't know I was pregnant and it sounds just like this. And all those poor ladies have babies in the toilet. But also you'd save a grip of cash if you did that. So it's not like, hmm. it'll be fine. She's not gonna have a toilet baby. It'll be fine. It's gonna be fine. It's gonna be fine. When do you go to the hospital? Like seven? Um, Usually, I don't know. Honestly. When your water breaks, I don't get it. I know that you're supposed to, some people's waters don't break. And then I know you're supposed to like time your contractions. And the doctor's like, when they're so far, like this far apart, come in. Okay. I know that a lot of women don't want to be in the hospital for very long because it's kind of a bummer. And they just want to get there to handle business. Yeah. You know, so they really wait. I've never looked into the nitty gritty because unfortunately it's not happening for me. <laughs> Right. I'm not bitter at all. No, Kate did say she'd call us though, because I was like, get in labor on the pod. Wow. I mean, yeah, let's have get a that. pod baby. Can you? Yeah, let's get that that drive to the hospital. I was on the phone with her the whole way here, and she kept being like, ah, 
sorry, I'm just uncomfortable. I was like, is uncomfortable? Do you mean you're in agony right now? Like you're there are these labor pains? Who knows? Well, we'll see. It, yeah, I'll probably post on my Instagram as soon as that baby comes. Um. Okay. So, what do you have for us? Where do you want to start? Me? Yeah, I mean, you have an update about your mom. Uh, we have to cover some bases. So last week we discussed the fact that my mom has mentioned to me on multiple occasions that when her husband passes, <laughs> which we hope to God will not happen while she's still alive. We love you, Jared. Um, she will marry her gay best friend, Brad. Yeah. But she wants me to be very clear about the fact that this is just an allegation I'm making <laughs> okay. that it's like allegedly she said this and like she I don't know like she was wa- like going back and forth on it but it's like bitch you say this all the time and so I'm supposed to just say that I guess okay so and then she followed it up with I think if Brad were going to marry a woman it would be me <laughs> so allegedly <laughs> allegedly well, you didn't fall far from her tree because that is you like if Ryland was gonna marry a woman it would be me well it would right or See? no it wouldn't he would be Anne Hathaway or Haley Duff no or... I don't want to marry Anne Hathaway I want to marry marry Hillary Duff or Ashley Tisdale you wish you had sex no. with her you said that to my face one time yeah I know but I've evolved well, I know, nothing against Ashley Tisdale I'm just more of a Hillary Guff whoa Hillary Duff uh. oh my god I didn't even realize this the other day I had guessed I hiked past Hillary Duff's husband, his husband, her, his brother, and Nicole Richie. What? Yeah. And how did you come to your senses? Carly noticed it. I didn't notice it. They were just so loud that I was like, oh, I can't hear myself think now. And Carly was like, that was so and so and so and so and so and so. And I was like, wow, I just couldn't hear myself thinking. You know, I almost went hiking without you the other day, right by your house. With who? Myself. By yourself? I know, that's the most insulting part of it all. Yeah, the unkindest cut of all. Uh, well, you know, I was very peopled, not peopled out, but I yeah. was overstimulated. And so when I dropped my family off at the airport, it was 7 a.m. And I thought, wow, I could really get a, a, a early brisk morning hike in for myself. But I got there and it was so busy at 7 a.m. Oh, it's a nightmare There wasn't the even weekend. a parking spot. And so I just turned my ass right around and I said, this wasn't meant for me today. No, no I mean, honestly, the trail's not even worth being on on a, on a weekend day. It's awful the people out there are specifically awful too i don't know how to describe it but it's oh. like one of the fucking it's yeah, it, one of the layers of the hell. parking lot was enough for me to realize that was a place i never wanted to be i feel like people could get into like gunfights in that parking lot i'm sure they have i'm positive they have i was there one day and this guy pulled around this girl who was waiting for the spot and took the spot she was waiting to get into and then he got out of the car and she got out of her car. And so we were all backed up behind her and like couldn't go anywhere. And she was like screaming at him. She's like, that was my spot. He oh. goes, you snooze, you lose. She goes, I didn't snooze. You pulled out in front and you stole it. And he was like, whatever, whatever. And then another girl from across the parking lot was like, you suck. It was gnarly. There's nothing that makes me more uncomfortable than a confrontation old person in a car situation. Right? It's like. But I'm also a confrontational person in a car situation you would park your car like if you're driving down a street and somebody pisses you off you'd park your car open your door get out and start screaming at someone no but inside my car i'd be like who fucking raised you <laughs> right you're that's, trash that's does your than, mother like, know you act like this in public you fucking idiot and sometimes i get road rage too but i try to remind myself like i don't know what's happening in their life in this moment right now and maybe they didn't know what they did just pissed me off because they're dealing with something and i try to i breathe it out i don't always succeed at this, this but I try to bring myself yeah. to that state of mind. This is an example of one of those things that makes me send you those messages on Instagram where I'm like, you're just a good person. <laughs> like seeing how sweet you are with your with Nana McAllister and then like shit like this. I'm just like, damn it. I'm glad you gave Chris the couch. Chris needs a couch. Give it to Chris. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> it's from all of us. Okay. Speaking of activities together, do you want to talk about all of us being universal girls? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was so excited. Why were you miserable? I t- called you on the way there and said I wanted to bitch out and get a Jersey Mike's and go to sleep. I wasn't miserable. I was tired. I had a great time. And then I was so fucking sick from all the sugar I had there that I was <laughs> passing out and vomiting at my house. That seems to be. Uh... I sat in my car and ripped ass for 30 minutes before I could even get out of it and into my house. And sent me pictures <laughs> while doing so. I was hot boxing mess. her car. <laughs> I was literally a mess. this is like Lizzie's favorite thing to do is like tear apart her stomach which you have a very fragile stomach I do I and I'm gonna be all fucked up from that cup of noodles but man did it bring me joy I'm already sitting here with like bubble guts like I'm not okay <laughs> like Lizzie we gotta in, go Lizzie went in and found a cheddar 
cup of new instant cup of noodles in my pantry that we had purchased over the weekend. Hell yeah, I did. And she goes, I'm not going to be able to recover till Wednesday, but I won't. Here you are. I guess. But yeah, I was going through all the vlog footage and like, yes, everyone's having so much fun. And then it, like every time it pans over to Lizzie, she's just like <laughs> miserable. Well, here's she's the... like, <laughs> like a person outside. Do that face while looking at me. Do that face while looking at me. <laughs> My stomach hurts. I had too much fiber yesterday. I can't laugh in front Are of you. Are you sure it's not the fucking cheese cup? <laughs> no, I couldn't sleep last night because I, I think I had a fiber stomach ache. You got bubble guts too? Yeah. Yeah, we got to do your weird fart position. <sighs> yeah, I've been doing it all day. Oh my God. Have you tried laying on your left side? <sighs> yeah. Shane's like, what are you guys going to talk about today? <laughs> <laughs> oh, nothing. We're just going to say some words and talk about our bubble guts. <laughs> yeah, we really got to get some guests on this show <laughs> before everyone leaves the chat. <laughs> you know, I've been working on it. I thought while we're in L.A., I always say, like, I'm working on it. I'm going to guess. Yeah. But, you know, Claudia didn't respond to me. She's Dude, busy. Claudia hates us. Well, I think no, we should air the duty. Out there no, no I think it's now is time. We need to tell them what happened. I think we need to tell them what happened. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> should we tell them? I'm not this hard. My stu- I, ha- I literally have a fiber stomach ache where like I, I need to shit so bad. So we're not going to tell them? No, I think I'm still holding out hope. I don't that- want to do it in front of her, but I'm positive that our hypothesis was right now. You think so? I mean, obviously. Well, she hasn't seen my DM. Like it says seen when she's seen it. And Are, does it, is there not a setting you can change? I don't I don't know how to work Instagram but I know like is there even, a setting he can change even do you if, know that Chris no but even if that. a verified person DMs me if I don't follow them I have to go into like that secondary DM oh, box the private section and so who knows if how often she's going into that section or maybe she does have beef with us or maybe it's I mean just, she's on tour she's going like to a different yeah, city she's on every tour, night but her, her handle life. is girl with no job like she's got time to check the restricted section I don't know I mean I think it's a very um I think it started as girl with no job but I did you she's see, busy we should have gone to her LA show she, because we should have a lot of people like a, a lot of people showed up to see her i saw yeah. a picture of her audience and i was like damn good for you girl no she does this all the time okay. this is not her first rodeo wow 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 yeah so she left us on red she left us on red we get it claudia you're better than us no that's not what no that means i no all. i say it with <laughs> self-esteem and full well look at their hot topics in comparison to ours <laughs> You know what I well, mean? like they, she, she has Jackie that like very like perfectly puts down her hot topics. And... I started reading because of them. I'm reading a book right now. Are you? Yeah. Which one? Uh, it's called The Invited. It's about a couple that's building their own house, and the wife's a historian, and the husband's like a scientist naturalist, and the the land is haunted. Well, wow. we'll yeah. report back. Should I read it with you? You could like it. It's a fast read. Okay. Yeah. Should we start a? Our own book club? No. Oh, my God. No. Our own Patreon book club? <laughs> um, is it okay. called Not Everybody's a Redhead, But <laughs> One of Us Is? <laughs> when Lizzie's dog shit. Oh, my dogs have been... My poor dogs. Some Bubs, I've been sleeping in because I've been having late nights. Mm-hmm. And when Bubs needs to poop, but I'm asleep and he can't get out to go. And if I won't wake up because I'm like dead asleep, he'll shit in my bathroom, which I think is so cute and funny. <laughs> Like he's like you shouldn't hear so I shouldn't hear. Does he not like wake you up? He does try but sometimes I'm dead asleep. Yeah. And cuz I don't even if I I usually like whenever Jelly jumps out of bed to go check the chicken in the kitchen in the middle of the night, mm-hmm. I wake up. But if I'm not waking up for that, like I'm not waking up for Bubs having to go poop. Right. And it's like mind you, this is like I'm barely sleeping and it's like 9 a.m. The dude needs he's a very regular boy and he goes poop every morning at like 7. Wow, that's early. It is. It's early to be up. That's I'm, why I have to let my dogs out the second I go to yeah. bed, or it like well, could they be go bad for me. They go the second we go to bed and the second we wake up. But like I go to bed at seven, so that's like a twelve-hour stretch. <laughs> <laughs> You're sleeping from seven to I'm nine. I'm tired. Girl. She goes. I've been going to bed late lately. I go to bed at seven and wake up at nine. No, that's my normal. <laughs> okay. I've been going to sleep at like midnight. Well, we left the show on a cliffhanger last week. Oh, well, we did. <laughs> Don't you remember the wordle? <laughs> No. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and got, I watch our show. You have such short term memory. I, well, you got to keep in mind right now. Like, I've got like a fart just registering. And so my do fucking I right here. Are, and it just hurts in my ribs. Wow. And my pants are too tight. They're this two is... sizes too small. Like, what did what was the cliffhanger? I'm exclusively a daytime girl. You can't do this to me. You can't I, I'm have sorry, other jobs. Man. I'm sorry, Because this is 7 p.m. Your girl's out here. We're she's got to buy her own night. couches. And she needs <laughs> multiple jobs in order to afford them. Like. <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm exclusively a daytime girl. If you get me at night, you get a mess. You get somebody no. that needs to fart profusely. It's literally my fucking bedtime right now. It's 658. <laughs> I should be flossing and getting the fucking bed and talking to my dogs about their day. Like that's what I should be doing right now. Do you have one-on-one -on -one time with your dogs? I saw somebody post on their Instagram story like you're you're the only person that your dog gets to interact with throughout the day, so you need to give them like focused full attention for a, a period of time. They get so much of my focused full attention. It's embarrassing i texted matthew the other day and i was like i don't know if i can meet up i'm gonna miss my dogs too much <laughs> to go to lunch yeah well all lizzie does all day is send me photos of her dogs i was thinking about i that. think they're very cute but like i don't need like a fifth photo of the day <laughs> and they're like no context just like boop and i'm it's like, like but i was laughing actually about this to myself the other day because <laughs> i realized i said like you kate katie Haley, joe five people this before 11 a.m three pictures of jelly doing nothing <laughs> well and it's not different than how you text anything i mean no. you go on a press tour with everything you have to say <laughs> do you want to see my dog no, stop I, shutting up last night no I, and i yeah you texted me after he threw too. up on the carpet and then he just ate it uh, so i didn't have to clean it up you see Okay. Cutie pup, right? And you then, get why I'm sending pictures of him. <laughs> With your legs in that photo, what's going on? <laughs> Here they are just barking at me <laughs> over Aww. nothing. Over a demon in your house, a literal demon. You know no. dogs can feel the energy. Aww. Is that why they're constantly doing this? Okay. All right. Chris, we it's have only to... three more minutes. Uh, only three more <laughs> minutes? I've already seen it. I don't want to experience it again. That's cute. Did you watch it all the way through? No. <gasps> I skim. <laughs> this guy. <laughs> so, Lizzie, after I've been talking about Wordle on the podcast for weeks, uh, she finally gets into Wordle. It was all week. And then the one day that she finally figures out how to play Wordle, she sends, she spoils the whole day for me, sending did me I? the results to the no, day. No, I did not. And I go, Lizzie, you can't do that. Everyone's Wordle's the no, same. No, 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 no. Yes. <laughs> don't no, no, act no, no, like no, you can no, recover no, no, from no, this. No. I have Girl, screenshots. I did not. Then pull them up. I don't, I have a No, let problem. me, okay, <laughs> I'm going to find the receipts because you're a fucking lying ass hoe right now, okay, lying you, on my name. You definitely. Telling our audience that I'm some type of way when you know full fucking well I am not a wordle spoiler. You definitely <laughs> revealed some of the letters in the words. I definitely revealed some of the letters in the words. Okay. But I did not reveal the word. We don't need to go too deep into it. Are you still playing daily? Yeah, I play with Kate every day. Okay. I couldn't do it without Kate. Kate gives me hints because she <laughs> figures it out. <laughs> and then I'll be like, look, I found these three letters. I cannot possibly think about where they might go in the timeline. What is the first letter and what is the last letter and what are the, all five letters? And then it's still hard for me even when I have all five letters, just not in order. I'm like, well, I don't know what this could be. And I'm always like, is it a word I know? She's like, yes, you know this word. <laughs> okay, so I have some things that we need to get to. Oh, do we? Yeah. Okay. Well, okay. Do you want to get to the bottom of why I can't speak properly or do you want to rate our own skills in bed? The, I'd rather talk about why you can't speak properly. Are you sure? I'm absolutely sure because it is a question that has been haunting not only <laughs> me, but your husband, the audience. Well, no, this Chris. is about us specifically. Oh, you mean words. Yeah. Well, I just figured out I have a Utah. I'm from Utah. I have a Utah no, accent. No, see, yes, like you the didn't way, just figure this out way, because we had a whole fucking no, episode Shane and last I, year no, 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 where no, no, you no, were no. like, I don't say words right because I'm from Utah. And it's like everybody in the comment section was like, I'm from Utah and I say words right. We literally have had this talk publicly. <laughs> I don't think so. Play back like the, the tape. Way the way that I say mountain, Sound off the it. way that I say no. mountain is the way everyone in Utah says mountain. I know I say some words funky and they're just wrong. Like explain life wrong. and life's. That I can't explain. Yeah. But maybe you're going to blame Utah for that? Maybe. <laughs> Get maybe Utah I on will. the fucking phone. Get Utah out here. I don't think you can, honey. Well, Shane and I, I don't know how we fell down this rabbit hole the other night, but we really started following into like the phonetics Do you of literally things. not remember talking about this last year? I guess not. We literally talked about this on the podcast last year. Okay, well, I'm <laughs> just from Utah, so every time I say something wrong, it's my Utah roots. Does it all, is that also what's wrong that. with your memory? Also, do you ever finish a Wordle? I need to know. Have you ever finished a Wordle? Every time I play, I've never Successfully? not Successfully? I've never not gotten a Wordle. What? Never. This is shocking. And even to me. when you I got rupee, even well, I when did my you get rupee? I fell off the ladder when my family was here. Like I haven't played since they've oh. been here. Um, but prior to that, I played every day. And even when I didn't know the word, I would I could piece together enough letters to where I could figure out what it was by the fifth guess. Wow. So I've never not accomplished a wordle. You're, you're a better man than I. Wow. Yeah, I need Kate to do it. I've never been able to do it alone. Well, sometimes I'll run downstairs. I think Chris was here one time. I think Chris helped solve my final puzzle at one point in life. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Nice. He did. 
but I guess popular on YouTube a while ago was like an accent tag. I wasn't around on YouTube when that was popular, but I guess like there's some of these words, like, I wonder if we say any of them different. Like, how do you say, let like, me just see the word on your the page. mom's sister. There's a whole word list. Do you say aunt or aunt? Where's the word list? Right here. What uh, are you talking about? Uh, let's just say the words. Aunt. Aunt. You don't say aunt? No. Me either. Roof. Roof. I think it would be, Shane was persistent on saying I say roof. And I was like, I do not say roof. You do sometimes. No way. There's no, no, way. <laughs> There's no world in hell. It's like how you say dill instead of deal. And Shane did clock me on that one. But I, deal. Let's make a deal. Yeah, I, I mean, do say that. I mean, you're thinking about it now, but you deal. say dill. How do you say deal? Deal. Yeah, I say deal. Let's no, you make don't. a deal. You say dill. You say it so much that sometimes on the podcast I will like say... Like D-I-L-L instead yeah, of D-E-A-L. I will make fun of you sometimes to your face and use the word dill instead of deal. And I'm owning up to it. I think that's right. my Utah right. accent. I don't right. think... like Because I'm not saying it wrong. Like I guess I am saying it wrong, yeah. but I know how it's spelt, but I'm still saying yeah. how I think is best to say. Yeah, like because of you also sometimes I'll be in my natural life where you're not present and I will say something and I'll be like, wow, I don't know how to say this anymore. Because Rylan says it this way, and I talk to him more than anybody else. Oh no, the podcast is ruining your life. It's literally ruining my life. I'll be like, treadmill. Treadmill? Treadmill. 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 How would you say it? Treadmill. I don't know how See, I say it anymore because all up. I do is hear you saying it wrong. Treadmill. So how sometimes could you... I'll be like, treadmill. Nobody ever should say treadmill. I don't, that's, whatever. That's I'm so sure that crazy. It's treadmill. Say it, say it right. Can you even say it right? Can how anyone do... in this room say it right? I, I think it's treadmill. Treadmill? Yeah, I think. Let treadmill. me see. Or treadmill. I, treadmill. None of us know. That just sounds so wrong to me. Treadmill? If it sounds wrong to him, it's probably right. Probably. Okay. Wash. So what would the other way be? Wash? Wait, what? Treadmill. Treadmill. It's Yeah, so I'm saying it wrong when I say treadmill, and I'm saying meal because I'm around you too much. Yeah. <laughs> you ruined my life. You are who you surround yourself with. Maybe you need to run. I do run. Like away from me. No, what will I have then? Okay. Just these bubble guts. So let's keep going. Okay. Oil. Oil. How else could you say that? Root? Say this do word. you do root or route? I say root. Route. I do both. Route. Like I would say route sixty six, but I would say like well, what's my six... route? Oh. You know? Yeah. So that one's confusing. Theater or theater? I say theater wrong. And I don't understand it, but people theater. have made fun of me about it. So the this is a theater. triggering thing for me. So the theater is how it's probably pronounced. The theater. I don't know if we should speculate. Well, I say theater. <laughs> I, I, like, I'm not a crazy person. I Movie say theater. theater. Movie theater. Yeah. But I think it would be theater. Do you say this word? Arm? Theater. I, theater. Salmon. Theater. Don't tell me you're caramel. Do you say salmon? Sal salmon. Salmon. I say salmon. 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 Hey, salmon. Salmon. Salmonella. Okay. If you're a caramel person, no, you've I'm got to No, I'm caramel. Walk. I'm okay. not silly. Caramel. 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 Kick her out. <laughs> caramel. Fire. Water. Sure. Some of these are. Say like, this one. Uh, I would say data. Data. You no. Oh my God. What's the data? What's data. the data? I say data. I don't know what I say. I feel like I feel like assholes say data. Come for me. What's the data? You. I want to hear you say this. Ruin. Okay. Okay. Say this one. Crayon. Okay. But I would say crayon for sure. I would not say crayon. Obviously, you say New Orleans. New Orleans. How did this fucking New word Orleans? to? That's what they would say. Isn't that what they say? New Orleans. <laughs> It really does hurt so bad to laugh because my stomach hurts. How do we both have that same thing right because now? Because we both just ate cheesy fucking instant noodles. Like idiots. <sighs> we have tummy issues and we're eating like fools. Yeah. I need to get my stomach checked. We're running with reckless abandon into the abyss. Okay. Is there any like poignant ones? No, I feel like you and I say everything the same way. Yeah. Coupon or coupon. Also, these are not these are not trigger words. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like Shane and I were really messed up about jewelry. I saw that jewelry. on Instagram. Jewelry. I still don't know the. I say jewelry, way to say but it. it's like, am I saying it like a drunk? And February is another big one because no. it's February. You can fuck off with jewelry. that. February. Can you hit us with February? Hit us with library too. Jewelry. Jewelry. Okay. Uh, February. Yeah. February is what I really want because because it just passed and we want to be ready for next year. Feb. February. Wait, one more time. February. February. 
Yeah, that's how I say it. But it's written February. Yeah. February. But not how it's pronounced. February. Okay, so I'm right. February. Yep. February. Thank God. Okay, <laughs> wow, before that we break down. Um, <laughs> before we break down, girl, we broke down a while ago. <laughs> I thought we could rate our skills in bed. Why? I just thought it could be fun. How could we possibly do that? Like, we could just say, like, how... Um, how adamant we are about pleasing our our others okay like how far do you go like if you had to rate your own sex i don't go very like, far <laughs> <laughs> on your average sex session mm -hmm. what would you rate your own skill set into pleasing yourself and your man i would say it's a fully selfish exchange on my part really absolutely so do you get in like are you asking for the sex for pleasure to you or you're there and what's selfish about it i mean if i'm if i'm having sex it's because i want to have sex he never gets to have sex if he just wants to have sex i mean he can but that's also up to me <laughs> you know what i mean <laughs> and, and like so my, and vice versa he's always doing the leg work though like you're the one that gets to lay there and have a great no, time no i wouldn't i wouldn't say that but i would say that everybody's intention is to like have a good time yeah all i can do right now is see in my mind that his mom is listening to this even though i've asked her more <laughs> fucking no. times not to moms click out marge you know you shouldn't be here <laughs> get out I'm gonna squash her like that fucking. I would say I'm a widow. solid set. Like I average a seven in effort and uh, ability. You'll go the distance. Yeah, but I'll you're like a freak. What do you mean? You'll do whatever. Like you don't care. Mo yeah. I mean, I have like, I get really grossed out by n weird things. Like it could be anything. Cause I don't know what it is. Like I think I have ADHD or something, but it's like if one thing gets in my mind, it's like, oh, I'm derailed. I can't think about anything else. It's weird. It's so really annoying. If too. you start thinking about other things, can you not get all the way there? Uh, or can you come back to focus to the task at hand? At Sometimes I can totally like it doesn't matter where I am. I can be in the middle of a conversation with a boss. I can be in the middle of the only time it doesn't happen is when I'm directing. But it's like sometimes I'll be driving even and I'll be like, oh, I blacked out for a while there. Right. Because I just my mind will just like I don't I, I probably have ADHD is quite frankly what it is. Like I've got ticks and I can't focus for long periods of time. That's why I love smoking. But yeah, I, I literally forgot where I started this sentence. Right. We have one minute. It's also hard to focus when Chris I is like. I feel like Chris goes above and beyond to please every time. Like sometimes if I'm like Chris has never had an orgasm. What? No, no every kidding. time can a man Oh. Chris is like the, you really Chris got is like me the there. boy comes first and then I never do. It's about to cut. Should we cut it's the new about roll? to cut? Fine, Chris. Okay. I'm rolling. Sassy today. <laughs> this episode probably doesn't even make sense to anyone. It doesn't make sense to us. And it's like, do it, Chris. Just do it. One take three marker. <laughs> Just fucking do it, Chris. She has one cheddar cup and noodle, and the world is over. Girl, my tummy is bubbling. Same. We need help. We just have to live with it for the next while. I'm going to take some fiber when I get home and sit in the bathtub and just make it like a little jacuzzi. Bloop, bloop, bloop. Okay, Chris, what would you rate your uh, sex satisfaction? No, no, <laughs> no, no. We're done here. We need to recap what the fuck this is. So he got an idea based off of somebody else's show. What's the show? The Real. The Real? Yeah, the thumbnail was like, what would you rate? How would you rate your sex? No, that was the title. No, that's I didn't not... watch the video okay. before I put the prompt so here's in. the fucking deal. It, we run out of memory on our card. He's like, I got to actually watch what this is because I didn't actually watch it and I don't know what the game is. No, the, the game title is... is rating your sex. What counts as a good time in the bedroom? And the thumbnail says on a scale of one to ten. Great. Then it opens with, would you be offended if somebody rated your sex and that's what the conversation the women are having actually is <laughs> but then they talk about what uh basis they would rate somebody's sex on and they probably get into their own i abilities. mean we haven't finished it but i do have to say yeah i'm irritated by the question period point blank and i also think that it's entirely subjective because sex with anybody is different no i just mean like the effort i would rate my sex life with my husband at fucking 10 i would no i th and that's not what i was saying i was saying like what we get off like bonobos in our house we've been been Marge with our partners for a long period <laughs> of time watching so I was saying like all coming all this way what amount of effort on a scale of one to ten do you put into the daily effort still after all I this put 110 percent of my effort into my relationship <laughs> with my husband okay so good for you thank you
Thank you. I would say there's some days where I'm really all the way ready to go. And some days I don't feel as good, but I'm like, you know, we still got to do this. Some days I have a cup of noodle and it's like, yeah, let's do it. But you're going to deal with the bubble guts. <laughs> yeah. Some days you have a fiber stomach ache and it's painful. Why are you calling it a fiber stomach ache? Because I've had too much fiber and that's where why I have a stomach Where did you get this fiber? Ache. Are you taking fiber pills? I had sweet greens yesterday and it's an all kale salad. Oh, an all kale salad. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <inventing laughs> Thanks, Anna. Utah. <laughs> no, you just did a Russian accent. No, that's what you sounded like. That was me repeating back to you the way you sound. Okay, Chris, how's your sex? How much? Stop doing this. <laughs> he told me he wanted to. You t- when did we you? Wrote- no, when did he say that? When did he ever he say said, that? You want to hear mine when we cut? You're tripping. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> I'm going to ads. <laughs> Whatever. I offended everyone. We're going to ads. Today's episode is sponsored by HelloFresh. Mm, we got to get cooking in that kitchen. With HelloFresh, you get farm fresh pre-portioned ingredients and seasonal recipes delivered right to your doorstep. Skip trips to the grocery store and count on HelloFresh to make home cooking easy, fun, and affordable. That's why it's America's number one meal kit. HelloFresh has wholesome recipes for satisfying and nutritious meals that you can feel good about with six recipes per week to choose from, including low calorie and carb conscious options. They offer flexibility that you need where you can easily change anything online or in the app. You can change your delivery day your food preferences, your plan size, and you can skip a week whenever you need to. It's 72% cheaper than a restaurant meal of the same quality, and you can save on average over $65 a month when you order with HelloFresh instead of grocery shopping. Lizzie does this for her family. My mom does this now for her mom because she's taking care of my mom, and it's so much easier to already know what you're going to eat for the night, and their meals are delicious. So go to HelloFresh.com slash TheSip16 and use code TheSip16 for up to 16 free meals and three free gifts. That's HelloFresh.com slash the SIP16 and use code the SIP16 for up to 16 free meals and three free gifts. HelloFresh, America's number one meal kit. Was he saying meal kit or meal kit? <laughs> oh my god. I'm just wondering. Meal. 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 You're hearing meal, right? I say meal. I mean, you're hearing See, the, mill. The aren't lines you? are bur- blurred. You're hearing M I L L, like dill. I think it's M I L L. Dill? It's no. Tears in my eyes. So Big mill dill. Today's episode is also supported by DoorDash, which we're actually eating dinner with DoorDash tonight. We've ordered it, it's on the way. We're going to have Panera bread in our stomachs in no time. So if you've ever pulled into the driveway after a trip to the grocery store, only to realize that you forgot that one key ingredient to dinner, well, now you have options. You can get the groceries you need, or a backup meal, or that missing ingredient all delivered with DoorDash. Along with all the restaurants you love, you can now get groceries and other essential items delivered with DoorDash. You can get drinks, you can get snacks, and other household essential items in under an hour. If you're craving that late night ice cream, or maybe you just need to stock up for the week with DoorDash, you get it all in one place. They have over 300,000 partners, and you can support your neighborhood go-tos or choose from your favorite national restaurants like Popeye's, Chipotle, and even Cheesecake Factory. Ordering is so easy, and your items will be left safely outside your door when you choose contact list delivery drop off. So for a limited time, our listeners can get 25% off and zero delivery fees on their first order of $15 or more when you download the DoorDash app and enter code SIP. That's 25% off up to a $10 value and zero delivery fees on your first order when you download the DoorDash app in the app store and enter code SIP. Don't forget that's code SIP for 25% off your first order with DoorDash. Subject to change, terms do apply. Okay, Lizzie. Mm -hmm. What do you want to do now? (laughs) Well, this is the part of the show where we typically get into some iced tea. Oh, Uh, but it's cold outside, so uh, we wish these were hot toppies. To warm us up? Yeah. We could call this like leftover mac and cheese. (laughs) Okay. (laughs) Leftover cheddar instant ramen. I'm sick. (laughs) I'm Um, sick. A couple weeks ago, I saw in the headlines Do that like this I hate it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it would be like nice, but it was like not. It was creepy. It, it was, was like it, it was the it, approach it, of the hand on the back was like. Rah, rah. Okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. Focus. It's just because we had the spider earlier, and like something was going on over by the spider attack situation. Someone was touching me in a way that was scary. Someone had spider fingers like on me while we were worried about the spider. Was that you, Chris? <laughs> I did not touch you. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> spider finger boy. Okay, which one of these do you want to get to? Well, both of them, probably. <laughs> What's what are they? 
bitch. You put oh, them Madonna's in. having hardcore auditions for her biopic, <laughs> where I guess all these like A-list celebrity ladies are like auditioning to play her, but like auditioning for her is like a full blown fucking boot camp. And I'm like, fuck Legally Blonde the musical. Like, let's see what's going down in Madonna's fucking rehearsal space. I pray to the heavens up above that these tapes get released after it's made, because you know how a lot of yeah, shows do that. They'll yeah. be like, this person's audition tape for this. I really feel like they should be airing this. Do you know how much money they could make on this? Who do you think is a contender or a front runner? For I don't this? know. They just keep posting random girls, like f- random celebrity faces, but it's like they're not open and honest about who the speculation is. Do we have details as to where this is going to come about? Like, w- mm-hmm. is it a streaming service? Is it? A- uh, I think it's just a regular movie. Wow. But yeah, Chris, look into that. And then <laughs> while I tell this next uh, leftover mac and cheese, um, we'll get back to the details of it. Mm-hmm. Wow, my hips hurt. <laughs> Um, so the other thing is I saw that uh, Fezco mm-hmm. or Angus I'm confused by him so I saw I'm sorry to interrupt your story yeah. but I had seen that he this was his first acting gig ever yeah. but was he famous prior to this for something other than acting because I look at his Instagram and I'm like are you a rapper or like or did he just pop out of nowhere and Euphoria I don't, made him a star I don't know the the as legend tells it he was just existing and somebody was like hey man would you audition for this show and he was like sure dude I don't know but I also saw on TikTok he was in New York acting as a server like he was a waiter Mm -hmm. and but he's also from Oakland okay because he's also like got this interview where someone's like what was the first time you were recognized how did that go and he goes oh this person said you're from Euphoria and I said nah I'm from Oakland Which is so Fesco. So yeah. Angus. So Angus. But then I guess while well, Angus was doing the press circuit, he was on like one of the late night shows and he goes into this like shared space. And I guess Megan the Stallion was there that night and there were just a fuck ton of sandwiches laying about. And he like went and grabbed one and someone was like, no, that's Megan the Stallion sandwich. <laughs> and he ate it anyway. So he ate Megan the Stallion sandwich. <laughs> But because I'm a narcissist and I have to make everything about me, I wanted to relate this to the time that I accidentally ate Meg Ryan's sandwich. And I'm pretty sure Meg Ryan hates me. She witnessed you take her sandwich? Mm Mm-hmm. So it was a series of unfortunate events between Meg Ryan and myself. And I, if she's listening right now, Meg, I need you to know that when I was a young girl, I got a perm because you got a perm. And so stealing her sandwich was really a power play. What had happened was I was in New York City, the Big Apple. I was walking on my way to see a play. Mm -hmm. On my way there, I was with my dad. We're standing in the street and I look over and I go, it's Meg Ryan. And I like didn't say that, but I was like being cool. And then I watched her ass get into a fucking taxi. In my mind, I swear to God, I saw that bitch get into a fucking cab and drive straight out of my life. And then I turned to my dad and I go, that was motherfucking Meg Ryan. (laughs) And then I turned back and she's right there. And I was like, oh my God, I'm so sorry. But I didn't say anything. You know what I mean? Like I was weird, but like I kept it. I kept it moving. You know what I mean? And then we proceed to walk in the same direction for a series of blocks, which is too fucking long. And I'm like, I'm gonna fucking kill myself. (laughs) And then we get to the play, and it's like, I need, I need a break from this. She's going to the fucking play. I go to the bathroom. I come out of the bathroom. There's someone in the bathroom that I know from my personal life, and I go, Hey, dude, what's up? She's like, Hey, good to see you. She's like. I want you to meet my friend Megan. Meg Ryan turns around and I'm like, ah, and I shake her hand and I just washed my hands so they were dripping wet and I go, that's water. I didn't pee on my hands. (laughs) And she's just like, enough with you. Like enough, be gone, peasant. And I was like, you're right, I should go. (laughs) She didn't say that. No, but like the vibe was like, please stop being at me. Like like, don't don't exist at me like this. It's aggressive. You've been following me for blocks, bitch. (laughs) Yeah, technically she was following me. Anyways. Uh, we sit through the show afterwards me and that friend and like a few other people are like we're gonna go to dinner I go to dinner with Meg fucking Ryan after all this I have to sit at a fucking dinner wait what yeah so we're sitting at dinner and they bring me the wrong order and I'm like I'm not gonna be annoying right now because I've been too much all day no I just shut up and I ate the wrong fucking order and then I hear at the end of the table after I've like shoved this fucking burger into my mouth (laughs) because I'm just like shut up and eat bitch like be cool stop being too much and then Meg Ryan's like this is what I ordered and she like she like describes what she's ordered I'm like that's the fucking shitty burger I just ate half of Uh, uh, and so I like hold it up and I go I got (laughs) I got your burger Uh, (laughs) you're like the nightmare for (laughs) (laughs) I was like it was it was delicious um do you want to trade back I'm 
I'm so sorry <laughs> that I was born, quite frankly. <laughs> if I could turn back time, if I could find a fucking way, bitch, you best believe I'm crawling back through my mama's cervix and into the womb and rethinking everything I've ever done. So now it's cool because Angus did it. So it's like I, I did it before it was cool. Uh -huh. <laughs> you know, I was a nightmare before it was cool to be a nightmare. And now Angus made it cool. Yeah. So I feel like Angus can get away with something like that. And you're just like the worst. I know <laughs> my energy is just like bad. <laughs> <laughs> it is what it is. Like, okay, like I'm not, a, I'm not like, something to work with. It's fine, guys. I'm not a sympathetic character. I'm not a sympathetic character. You don't root for my success. Nobody wants me to have a couch. It is what it is. <laughs> okay, Chris, do you have an update Thanks, Chris, for us? You're the only one. Oh, yes. Um, well, okay, well, it's really vague what I was finding, but it says Madonna's directing it, or supposedly oh, wow, gonna, wants her. to direct Maybe it. Maybe something like Elton John did. It, well, wants to direct it. We don't know for sure. I don't sure. think Elton John directed his biopic. He didn't, I don't think he directed it, but he was very involved with the whole thing right. from start to finish. Right. Like he had very, I think, full control over creative say. And Facts. the only names that I'm finding over and over are Florence Pugh, um, Julia Gardner, and Alexa Demi from Euphoria. Which one's Alexa Demi? Is that Maddie? We're the worst. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, look how cute my dog is. Oh, my God, Lizzie. <laughs> I just got another picture of my dog. Well, Chris looks like... Look at her just laying in her bed like a little pup pup. All right. I think we should get into... Oh, she's Maddie. Oh. Yeah. Maddie oh. Perez. I kind of fuck... I th I hope it's her. I mean, the brown hair throws me off a little bit, but... Madonna can... has brown hair. Oh, she does? Yeah, she's a bleach blonde, bro. Have you seen her daughter? You just said she has brown hair, and then you told me she has bleach blonde. So bleach isn't a naturally occurring hue? Oh, right. But it's then, something that but, it's a so, chemical you put on your hair. But Maddie's current state is not that of Madonna's current state. Correct. So she could get a wig or bleach it herself. But, you know. I don't think it's a... I have a hard time until I see it visually. Like, I was thinking right. of blondes because right. I'm not a casting director. I mean, Madonna has dark fucking roots. Okay. And always has. Okay. <laughs> She's not a natural, that's all I'm saying. <sighs> Are you ready to get into... Advice, Advice though. though. All right, we actually have some callers for today's episode. Ah! We're doing voicemails because we're recording so late. Voicemails. 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 Oh my gosh, Lizzie. You hear it though, Chris, don't you? <laughs> All right, here we go. Uh, yes, I was just wondering, Rowan, hello, hello, Lizzie. Uh, I was just wondering, how would you go about ending a marriage of 27 years because you realize that you are a lesbian? You also have to grown male son children okay thank you bye that was sweet and straight to the point wow 27 years can i just for clarity articulate what she said because mm -hmm. i think it's a little hard to understand yeah she said how would you go about ending a really long marriage with two grown sons because you've discovered late in life that you're a lesbian right and there's a lot to unpack and there's no easy way around doing what you have to do if that's what you decide you need to do i'm about i think you'll slowly eat away at yourself if you don't live out your full truth or your full authentic self or if you don't allow yourself to be able to explore it i know it's tricky because it's not just your life you have a partner of 27 years that is that's obviously a hurdle and two grown children i think the children would come to terms with it i think the relationship you most need to be concerned about is your partner of 27 years but i would personally do anything i had to do to find a way to live out my authentic version of myself and i think that's really important because we only get one life to live mm-hmm I mean, from what I believe, you get one life to live, so you should live your most authentic life. And I think that it is very important to do it compassionately for those around you. But in instances such as these, it can be very easy to forget that you also owe yourself compassion and that you also owe yourself sympathy. And while it is okay for anybody to have a response to your truth and to your choices. It's also okay for you to pick and choose what, how their response affects you and how much of your response 
you're going to take on personally. And I think in times such as these, having really healthy boundaries and understanding what it is that you're seeking emotionally from each exchange that you have from coming out to what you decide to do with your partner in your relationship and how you decide to tell your kids. Um, really knowing what your goal is there before you go into it so that when their response, if it's not what you're wanting or if it's not what you expect, doesn't hurt you beyond repair. Like armoring up yeah, and, and, I- and having that time where you do treat yourself with love and compassion because you deserve love and compassion. You're not a bad person for doing this. You're a really strong person for doing it and you can do it in a way where you're protected and everybody gets to have their own honest response to it. Yeah. And I just think if you don't make the move for yourself, you're long-term only hindering your life and your partner's life. I know it's like hard to rip the bandaid off and it's not going to be easy for him, especially if he doesn't know that it's coming or doesn't have any inclination of it. But I think if you don't do this to yourself, you might start self-medicating in some sort of way. I'm not saying I'm not trying to project on anything, but I think you might pick up bad habits that are self-destructive because you're uh, pushing down something that's so that needs to come up if it's innately you it's something that needs to be expressed or maybe you'd end up cheating or i'm not saying i'm not trying to project on you but you know what i mean without putting any sort of specific label on what an act out might be i would even dare to say that the act of suppressing your truth when you so clearly know it is a bad habit that you should break now so that you're not constantly living with this secret nagging at your soul yeah like you deserve to be free You deserve to have joy and that sort of joy can't be found if you're like Mm. hiding in the shadows of what you are. Yeah. And in a breakup, I mean, I don't know your kids or their relationship with you prior to this conversation, if this is what you choose to go through with. But I feel like people will come around like they're not going eventually, even if it's hard for a while or a couple of years. And I think this will help your partner too. Like maybe he'll have a new discovery in life. Maybe he'll have a whole second chance at life or find and discover something new as well. So I hope that you're able to find a way to execute this to live your fullest life and enable those around you to do so as well. But wow, difficult for sure. Also, pretty cool that you could discover this about yourself and have the self-awareness to know who you are. Some people never really know who they are. So the fact that you've gotten to this point is like pretty cool, pretty commendable. So good for you. And you have something to show for your long marriage as well. Two beautiful grown children. And so we're wishing you success. Um, Follow back up with us if you choose. And yeah, thank you for calling in. Oh, someone wanted to know about our Inventing Anna review. Oh, that was a voicemail. But yeah, they said that they had specifically watched Inventing Anna because we said we were going to talk about about it on the podcast and we flopped hard. Well, no, I watched it. And And I texted you, you should watch Inventing Anna. (laughs) And then I said I had watched the first episode and I'm all in on watching Inventing Anna, but I had family here for two weeks and I am only still, I just finished episode four. Uh, so would you say you don't have time for Anna? <laughs> no, I do have time for Anna. See, he hasn't seen all the episodes, so he doesn't get what I'm doing. <clears throat> but I am going to I'm gonna watch. Like, I'm tonight. Cool. As soon as you leave me, I'm going to go sit with my fiber stomach ache and watch Inventing And then we Anna. can discuss next week? Yeah. If I even come back. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I think you starred... I don't know where the star... Oh, do you want to do this one to round out Sleep the show? Sleep schedules? Yeah. Do you want to read it? At my bedtime, of course I want to read it. You guys, honestly, like I'm feeling the bubble guts up in my sternum, like my ribs hurt. Hello, loves. My fiance and I have been together for over five years and we have a beautiful life. Sorry, that deep breath made my throat so dry. Something that we haven't quite gotten right is our sleep schedules. I've always craved the intimacy of falling asleep with someone every night, but my fiance is someone who will stay up till 4 a.m. He wakes me up when he comes to bed and it disrupts my sleep cycle and I'm exhausted during the day. He has made a strong effort to sleep with me roughly two or three nights a week, but it's so hard for him. Rylan, I've heard you in other videos say that you and Shane have different sleep schedules. Do you have any tips so that we can better coexist with each other? Yeah. That's the end of it, but I got confused because there was a date. And then I accidentally 
pasted it twice so yeah. that's, so that's my not fault. on me no <laughs> um yeah shane and i have never been on an even similar sleep schedule and it used to bother me so much because i like you really craved that intimacy i thought like oh we're a couple we should be like brushing our teeth together and jumping in bed and watching 30 minutes of a show and then falling asleep but in you re- could have that with me <laughs> <laughs> this is why we should be married mom you're right <laughs> i can't wait for our husbands to die <laughs> <laughs> I'm not manifesting that. I'm not manifesting it either, but it does sound like a dream. But I just had to come to the realization that we are on different sleep schedules. He's always been a night person. I've always been a morning person. And I turned that into somewhat of a superpower for the two of us because... Uh, once I was able to accept that, I was able to find that intimacy or those moments that I wanted in different times of our day. Like, luckily, we both work from home. So we have like when I'm like taking my mid morning break, he's getting up and we really have that time and we can cuddle and watch something on the couch for 15 minutes before I go back to work or like during dinner is when we normally spend like a good chunk of time together. And I've really found that it's good for me to have some alone time. Like I get my mornings to myself because he's asleep and he's he gets his nights to himself so you both have debriefing time and somebody's sleeping schedule they can't just i don't think for two nights a week decide i'm gonna fall asleep earlier because it's a habit that they've created and they'd really have to work backwards to be able to go to bed at the same time as you always and that's a lifestyle change they'd have to make and maybe that's something that like you're dead set on having happen but i would encourage you to explore making it a positive Yeah, I mean, I'm in the same boat because Joe's up into the wee hours of the night and I go to sleep at seven. (laughs) And I can't really ask another adult human being to go to sleep at seven, but you make it work. Yeah. you And it's like you have to, it's like uh, your expectations do not mean that they have to become other people's realities. Right. And sometimes I think when you get so bogged down and burdened by an expectation, you can put undue pressure on reality and because of that your experience is uh suffers because you're in a bad mood because it's not what you expected so i say throw your expectations out the window and enjoy what you have yeah yeah i like i'm jealous this guy's down to give you fucking three nights a week (laughs) cut to my ass on saturday night like peeling my like taping my eyeballs open so that i can like watch lilo and stitch on the couch with joe until two o'clock in the morning yeah shane will always be like you fall asleep if i ever start a movie i'm like yeah because it's past my bedtime yeah because you start that shit at fucking 4 a.m like what am i gonna do here it's like and i am grateful that you were down to watch lilo and stitch with me because i hear how that sounds (laughs) But did it have to be at 1 a.m.? Yeah, and it's, it kind of is like the thermostat. Like, you just yeah. have to... Adapt, adapt get a jacket, and just... cold as fuck in this house. <laughs> That's me. I'm always like... <laughs> oh, we were driving home from an art show on Saturday night, and I was so fucking cold, I felt wet. Like, I was freezing. And Joe kept turning the heat off. He's like, you've got to be warm by now, right? And it's like, no, dude. <laughs> never warm. I'm fucking cold. It's fucking 30 degrees. And he, and I, he, I'd be like, roll your fucking window down. Like, what is this? He's like, I'm dying. And it's like, to the degree of which his skin is boiling seems more insane than my own frigid body. But it's like, I'm, it's like. Maybe it's like, we would be good partners. That's what I'm trying to say. We're always cold. Yeah. And we go to bed early. You like we men. Could, I like men. We could wake up and go to Orange Theory together. We could. This is great. We could go hiking. You could have your breakfast. mornings too. Cause like, I need to work also. We're getting married. <laughs> And that's the sin. <laughs> <laughs> no, seriously, bye. No, really. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs>